I'm Courtney Murphy, Denver Metro Realtor. Today we're here in Brighton, Colorado in the Brighton Crossings neighborhood. We're looking at homes by Richmond Homes. They have lots of homes out here for you to choose from. A couple models on site. Right now we're in the Hemingway. Let's go ahead and get started. When you first walk in, we have a nice wide open hallway here. You can see right back into your great room. But if we were to take a right, right when we came in, we have double doors leading into a nice office space, which is facing the front of the house. You can look right out and see out onto your porch there. Just a nice, bright, open space to do your work. Let's keep on walking. Over here to the right, we have our stairs leading into our basement. Now, full unfinished basements do come in the base price and Richmond right now. Um, of course, by the time I post this, they may not, but um, <laughs> they are running uh, their promotion of a finished basement in the base price. They run those occasionally. Like I said, by the time I get this on YouTube, they may not be running that promotion anymore, but call me. Let's check. Okay, then we have our stairs leading upstairs right here, which, of course, we'll check out in a minute. Right across from that, we have our powder breath for the main floor. And then we are into our great room area, um, like the fireplace they put here in the corner, a good place to put your TV right there. Some nice big windows looking out to your backyard, just a nice uh, roomy great room. All right, walking right across, we come to our kitchen, and the first thing I notice is this nice, big, rounded island. Really, really like this. But I do have to tell you that in the Hemingway, you have a lot of different options of how your um, how your kitchen is set up. So this has been upgraded. You can see back into your dining room area. See how it's kind of framed in over there? That's actually their sunroom upgrade, which I really, really like. We'll be we'll come back to the kitchen in just a second. Um, really like this upgrade. I would suggest it if it fits in your budget because it adds more square feet to the home, not only upstairs but downstairs as well. And it's just a really nice dining room, I have to say. Windows on all three sides and our sliders over there looking out onto our front porch. Adding this um, dining room upgrade gives you more room in your kitchen because if you did not have this upgrade, they'd put the dining room space somewhere over here. Your island wouldn't be as big. So they have a few different options here as well if you do this upgrade of how you want to set up your island. So two upgrades in here, the sunroom, plus adding this larger island. So keep that in mind. Really, really like those upgrades because this is just a, a spectacular kitchen, I have to say especially with this large island. But if you turn and look, you can see we definitely have plenty of countertop space and cabinets on this side. And also on this side, if you look, there's also lots of um, countertops cabinets in here. Very functional kitchen if you like to cook, that's for sure. Walking over here, this is gonna be your entrance in from your garage. We have a coat closet right here. And across from that, a nice walk-in pantry. But that covers it for our main floor. We're gonna head back over here and head upstairs. Okay, here we are at the top of the stairs and we walk right uh, back from the stairs into this nice open loft. They have it set up as a TV room, a couple windows in here, letting in lots of light, plenty of room um, for playroom, exercise room, whatever you, how you use it best for your family. Okay, we come back on this side of the loft. We're gonna hit our first secondary bedroom. This one is facing the front of the house and wow, look at all the windows. Feels really light and bright in here, plenty roomy, nice slider door closet. Okay, walking back this way towards the loft. You'll find your laundry room right here. Always nice to have your laundry on the second floor. We have our utility closet right here. And if we keep walking, this is going to be the bathroom that's shared between the secondary bedrooms up here. Nice double sink vanity there. And in to our next secondary bedroom, um, a couple of nice windows in here facing the side of the house, and again, our slider doors in here as well. Now, as you can see, we're going to walk out the door and just straight across, and this brings us to our next secondary bedroom, about the same size, slider doors on the closet again, um, one window in here, and this one also looking uh, like the first out towards the front of the house. Okay. Coming back out this way, through our loft, 
and to our stairs now had we if when we came upstairs had we taken a right you come into your master bedroom nice size master bedroom feels really roomy in here and one nice window here looking out the rear of your house and let's check out the master bath first thing over here is we have a nice soaking tub uh, window right over that, letting some natural light into your bathroom. And then, a, 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 of course, a shower right here, nice ledge in there. Across from that, we have our double sink vanity. All right, keep on walking. We have our private toilet closet. And at the end of the bathroom, we have a nice, spacious walk-in closet. Again, my name is Courtney Murphy. We are here in Brighton, Colorado in the Brighton Crossings neighborhood looking at homes by Richmond. If you'd like to see one of these homes in person, definitely give me a ring. Um, I'd love to help you find the right home for your family and I'll save you some money with my closing cost credit. So give me a call and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel where I upload new home tours around the Denver area every single week. Thanks for joining me today and have a wonderful day.